Hello guys, uh, welcome to Aspiring Architect. Today we are going to see on how to add an EBS volume to an existing uh, live virtual machine. So I'm currently at the EC2 dashboard. Let me go on to the instances. As you can see, uh, this is my instance, which is currently running a T2 micro shape. Uh, the availability zone is the US-East-2C. This is important to note it down. Uh, we'll discuss on why this is important uh, in a few minutes. So this is a uh, virtual machine which has a public IPv4 address running a Windows operating system. If you click on storage, you can see that there is an existing root volume or it's an OS disk for the Windows server. Uh, it is a 30 gig disk which is attached and was created at the time of the uh, at when the virtual machine itself was created. In order to attach a new EBS volume to this virtual machine, let's drag down under Elastic Block Store. You see a uh, volumes heading. So uh, as you can see, there is only one disk over here, which is a 30 GB disk, which is currently attached and is running. And the volume state, as you can see, is in use. So we are going to create a new volume. Click on Create Volume. So Volume type is something uh, you want to pick it up uh, as per your requirement. If you want to know further on why we have multiple volume types and uh, what is the cost associated with it or the performance, please let me know in the comments section and we'll have a separate video. Since this is for test purpose, I'm going to create only a 10 gig uh, volume. The IOPS is automatically selected depend up, depending upon the size of the EBS volume you want to pick up. Uh, you want to make sure that the availability zone is availability zone of the EBS is always uh, the same as the availability zone of your EC2 instance as EBS volumes are uh, actually dependent on the zone uh, where the EC2 instance is uh, located or created. As a live example, say your EC2 instance is in a 2A region, you create an EBS volume in 2C region, you will not be able to attach this EBS volume to your virtual machine since they differ in the availability zone. Once that is done, snapshot ID is optional. Uh, so here we are not going to use any snapshot ID. It's always a, a good idea to tag your resources, any resource which is created so that you can fetch them later with a simple string search. Let me just put as EBS test. Click on create volume. Let's give it a few minutes so that the uh, volume is in available state. Once this is in available state, click on the volume. And we want to attach this EBS volume to our existing live virtual machine. Please make sure that this is an online process and you don't need your virtual machine either to be down or you don't really need to stop the operations on it. Click on actions, attach volume. Since we have only one virtual machine, I can simply select it. And I also know the name as test. So it's always a good idea to copy the instance ID before you attach a volume if you have multiple virtual machines like an enterprise environment. Um, the device name can either be from XDF to XVDF to XVDP. Here I am selecting as XVDF. Uh, click on attach volume. So you can see that the volume has been successfully attached to the instance. Do a refresh and uh, you can see the volume state is currently in use. So half of our task is complete. So now let's head on to the EC2 Windows machine. So if you see, we have currently only one disk, which is the OS disk, which is of 30 gigs. So let's uh, try to bring the new disk online. So as you can see, this is a new 10 gig disk, which was attached via AWS. Let's first bring it online. Once this is online, you want to initialize the disk. Once the initialization is done, we want to create a new simple volume. So these steps should be pretty straightforward. Uh, we are going to assign the following drive as uh, with the drive letter D. Perform a quick format, click on next. 
click on finish so this should bring your uh, disk online so you can actually check that the disk is currently in a usable state please make sure that you subscribe to the channel and give a like if you think this is helpful and let me know if you want uh, tutorials on any specific uh, topic so that uh, i'll prepare them for you thank you for joining me today see you later